up. <laughs> well, here we are. The professor will be real pleased to meet you. <gasps> no. Here, I got him. Just bring him to me. You're wonderful. Just, just wonderful. Come on. Don't be shy now. Let's go. money um money yeah for all the running around i've been doing uh, oh well once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator uh, there'll be money enough for you sir well, let's hope all right let's get our our um our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration oh do come and watch it'll be amazing come along
There you are. Howdy. Sir? Hey, partner! Bonjour. Bonjour. Hello, welcome. Hey, mind you, sorry, mister. My mistake. Please, no. Oh, you bastard. That man just robbed you. I saw it. This Get is after him. I am what an American. What's your problem? I didn't do nothing. Come on, people. Let me go. It's a national disgrace. I mean, Money? Oh, oh, you're lying. You choose. All right. All right. Damn it. You got me. Oh, here. This job gets you. got that right. Quicker. Holy oh, Jesus. God, save me. Get a move on. All right. All right. Damn it. You got me. Oh, no hard feelings. It won't happen again, okay? Just a bit of cash. That's it. I'll stand here until I die if I have to. I don't care. I want to vote. I am a citizen. I have a brain. Let me My apologies. Vote, you ignorant fool. Hello, ma'am. Bonjour. Can't get enough of the place, sir. Now, let me see. I only stock the best in my shop. Buy from me, and you'll never be disappointed. I want to vote. I insist that I deserve the right to vote. I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with confidence. The finest fabrics for a comfortable and flattering fit. Now, what is your preferred color for this? Now, don't be fooled by their appearance. Those pants are as sturdy as they are handsome.
People around here come in just for those. There are a few colors you can go with for this one. That is a local favorite. Are you looking for something to go with what you just bought? Thank you. Great. Bonjour, gentlemen. Hello. Howdy, friend. Let's go, boy. Señor. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just he's some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. No one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This is the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a brother? I got this. to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? 
We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers, it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business! We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> that is the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know, you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, 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 so how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy, I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on a mild, so maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. Salute. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, yes, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaite's were gonna hold Jack Rance. For all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. So let's just... Get this done, and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay, I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. Leave the horses here. Oh, good boy. Oh, 
This way. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. Keep it down. Don't want him to bolt up. Too late here. Then and gone. Can't believe we're doing this. I know, but he won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook him. Can't be far. Let's keep going. to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. We can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. Off. 
Like I said, let's look around where they jumped us. Think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit, it's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Get back to Dutch. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, you see where we're at once we got Jack. All right, let's get this done. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took <laughs> your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Look, Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> And us, just simple country boys. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. 
Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, caballo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur. Thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Hey, thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ay, 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 ay,
no los corazones. No se alegran si el hito lindo los corazones. All right, let's give this boy a bit of space. See you later. Good to have you back, Jackie. We missed you. Cuando salí back, de Hermosillo, lágrimas vine llorando. Y con la flor del trompillo, Come on. me venía consolando. Thanks, Mama. Can I Yo soy a como el coyotito, well done, que guys. los revuelco y los dejo. Y me voy al trote santo, mirando por debajo. Bueno, vamos a tener una buena noche. Nos merecemos uno. Bienvenidos. Oh, no. Como una noche regular para ti, amigo. Bueno, intento mantener un poco de diversión en mi vida, Mr. Morgan. Es así que estás joven. ¿Es eso correcto? Ay, ya se secó el jacalito. Donde colgaba mi espada, pa' que están todas. Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. If you say so. Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Okay, Arthur. Oh, I think so. Tell us again. Sure. So I got caught doing it. No stopping you, Karen. You better believe it. Just save some for the rest of us. Well, I was just worried sick. I know. It's okay. Eat that all up now, Jack. Okay, Mama. Sorry it ain't spaghetti. Get some drinks down, you. Live a little. Good to see you smiling again, Abigail. This is a party. Thank you again. Truly. All right, all right. Uh, I missed that little rascal. You're not joining in? Not really in the mood. Okay. Hi, uh, folks. Hello. Was you scared? Absolutely petrified. Fair enough. <laughs> You okay, Sadie? Let's leave him the sure. You boys did good. Well, we got lucky this time. You getting involved, Bill? Just getting my drink on first. Okay. <laughs> you love me really, don't you? Maybe play some for Jack later. I'll ask him in a bit. Okay. He was born. You died. In between, you do what you do. I can feel a few drinks coming on, Uncle. Ain't no good. Ain't no bad. Just nine months from now, you'll have. Things that make you feel good or make you feel sad and just the length of time between being born and dying. That's all there is. <laughs> Ain't no old man judging man. Ain't no heaven. <laughs> 
Maybe there is damnation. But I think I know what that'll be like. And I'm gonna be right at home there. That's it. See it for what the hell it is. Loitering suspiciously as usual. I, I'm just trying to give you all your moment. Well, how very kind. There's no respect for you, sir. On board the Heartland stage, pulling all about the sheets is begging us to about the sheets. Started as a thieving line in 1849. Opposition they defy, so people must be called to die. Getting crowded here with smelly men, as fat and hungry as a man. What will more a man Misty plug of tobacco smoke. Ladies are compelled to sit with dresses and tobacco spit. Gentlemen don't seem to care, but talk of politics and swear. Started as a thieving line in 1849. All opposition they defy, so the people must root all go die. Shoulders lug of coal, help them out somebody. Somebody. Oh. Promise when you're paid. Okay, Pearson. Yes, indeed. Feels like we can move forward again. I hope so. You ain't joining the party, Reverend? I don't want to ruin it. I'm feeling sorry for yourself. We have a plan. My friends. My loved ones. A plan. It is a real plan. We are gonna leave this place and we are gonna find our own paradise. Our own heaven. Tahiti. Fiji. Australia. The real new world. Not this godforsaken dump that all of Europe's detritus has acted out its vengeance, vengeance on! We are gonna be free! Free. Yes, we are, Dutch! That's right, boss. Too right, Dutch! You all right, Charles? Yeah, just taking it all, all in. It's always good to have a kid back. Not even a dog to trot by my side. Fire I kindle with cow chips around. My coffee I pour without being ground. I wash in. Remember, it's your fault that boy went missing. It wasn't... I mean, I said that I'm sorry. Count yourself, man. And I sleep on the ground for water and cod. You fellas certainly know how to have fun, Mr. 
Arthur. Sure. If I had stayed with old Driscoll, you'd have probably killed me by now. You ever think of that? We'd have both died at Six Points Cabin. Yeah. When Jack's your age, it'll be the 20th century. Ah, I'll outlive y'all. <laughs> you probably will. You know, me and you should go get some drinks in San Denis sometime. I ain't sure that's a good idea. Ah, come on. It was one bad night. You all right? I'm fine. I'm fine. It's totally fine. Okay, then. Hey. Hey. I'm trying to sleep here. You were snoring, that's all. I need sleep. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, 
I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur. I have made such a mess of my life, time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. <laughs>